Chairman Jason Greenleaf. Next are the approval of the June 25th, 2015 regular monthly meeting. A motion to approve, Mr. Chairman. Second. Approval and second. Any errors or omissions? Are none. All in favor of approval? Going to abstain. One abstention. Um, that would be two abstentions. I was not present either. Last meeting. And we'll move right on to our superintendent and operations report. Dave? Okay. Um, let's see. A copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of June is included in your packet. Um, our average effluent flow for the month was 1.34 million gallons per day. Our effluent quality uh, was well within our permitted li limits. With average, we averaged 94% uh, uh, biochemical oxygen demand removal and 97% total suspended solids removal, uh, with uh, monthly averages of 13 and 8 milligrams per liter, respectively. A copy of the pump station flows for the month of June is included in your packet. Uh, there were a couple of false high flows reported at pump station number one and at Fog Road pump station. These flows were the result of the ultrasonic erroneously measuring a high level due to fogging within the wet well. Uh, no other issues were noted. Uh, Matt Height and uh, Judy of DEP conducted an inspection of the wastewater treatment facility on Friday, July 10th. The inspection went very well and uh, Judy commented during the inspection that she had been over to 100 facilities and she thought this facility was the cleanest of any that she has ever visited. Uh, Judy has since contacted me and asked uh, if Glenn and I would assist the EP through the JETSI program in providing training in both basic wastewater treatment operations and advanced course of nitrification. Uh, we've, the, we've had uh, the past three CMP outages at pump stations has resulted in our operators having to find uh, blown bro breakers on power poles in order to convince CMP that there was a problem within their system and not a problem within in our own. The, uh, the root of the problem is that the smart meters are only monitoring one phase of the three phase power that feeds our pump station and if that, um, if the phase that's, if one of the phases that if the phase that is being monitored is live, uh, they erroneously see our uh, station as being fully powered. Um, when we call them to report the outage, they ping the meter only to tell us that the meter is active and the problem is ours. I've since called CMP to report this issue and CMP is currently developing an alternative uh, set of uh, standard operating procedures for this situation. Uh, they've actually flagged our account such that whenever we call them for a power outage, they're immediately going to respond no matter what the opinion of the, the smart meter tells them. Um, Woody and Curran has completed the upgrades to our SCADA system with only a few punch list items remaining. Knowles Industrial Services has completed sandblasting, priming, and painting of the primary clarifiers. At pump station six, we've had a few problems with one of the VFDs of the station faulting out, causing the station's PLC to fail. Fortunately, we have a redundant control system there that takes over. It has taken a while to identify the problem, and now that we have isolated the VFD, we are working with Stealth Electric to resolve the problem. We did have an ODA complaint on July 9th. The homeowner at 15 Iris Drive, which is off of Pine Point, complained about odors. I went out to Iris Drive and walked the area and did not detect any errors. I also went over to Pump Station 2, which is on the opposite side of Pine Point, across from the, directly across from this house, and I did detect some odors in the immediate area of the pump station. I checked the odor control system and I found it fully functional at that, at that time. And uh, that is all I have to report this time. Thank you, Dave. Questions for the superintendent? Just a couple. Um, Number one, uh, you were talking about uh, pump station flows and the metering there. Mm -hmm. uh, are there redundant um, level control alarms or anything? At yes. Uh, the, the, the ultra one one uh, Achilles heel of the ultrasonics is that, and as the you get the change in weather, you can get fogging in the right. wet well that creates uh, erroneous uh, readings. And we have it set up such that we have a low level float that will shut off the pumps. Okay. 
uh, and it, to prevent air binding and takes over controls, control of the pump station. The pump station stays fully active. So we, there's no real risk there of flooding or no. damaging the pumps no. or anything like that. No. The other thing I was just going to ask quickly is, um, have you talked to CMP about an, a different type of meter or a different kind of monitoring unit that would measure all three phases? Um, they're actively working on this between my vacation schedule and their vaca the, the woman's, uh, my contact at the uh, CMP vacation schedule. We've, we've had like uh, two and a half weeks of just missing each other. So. Uh, you know, I know they are looking into what alternatives there may be to for this regard. It may be a simple thing as they just respond. I'd be interested to see, you know, if you're getting any brownouts on any of the legs as well, too, or anything like that, what the consistency was, because it might not trigger to shut down, but can damage the motors if that consistently is happening. Well, the, the, if we get, um, uh, a brownout on one of the spaces, the automatic transfer switch will switch over to generate a power. Okay. So if we get an imbalance of power coming in, it, it, it will protect the station that way. Okay, good. Other questions for the superintendent? All right, now we'll move on. Uh, the next two items, correspondence and old business, there are none, so we'll move on to new business. Go Green Landscaping for Royal Ridge Road. On behalf of Go Green Landscaping, Northeast Civil Solutions is re requesting district approvals to connect and discharge into the sewer the wastewater from the proposed 12,000 square foot office and storage building that can accommodate a maximum of 30, 30 employees. Due to the existing grade, sewage will be collected and pumped via a private pump station to the public sewer located in Royal Ridge Road. Uh, the approved wastewater flow is limited to, uh, um, I, I recommend approval of the following conditions. Uh, the approved wastewater flow is limited to 360 gallons per day of sanitary flow only. Any future flows in excess of the approved amount are subject to additional approval. The parcel is outside the original re uh, service area, um, thus is subject to capacity reserve fees. The capacity reserve fee shall be based on the 360 gallons per day. Any future flows in excess of 360 gallons per day is subject to the additional capacity reserve fees. The current capacity reserve fee is $14.59 per gallon and is adjusted monthly based on the engineering news record construction cost index. Based on the current ENR index, the total capacity reserve fee is $5,253.23. Passive reserve fee is due prior to issuance of the sewer approval. Final plans shall be submitted to the superintendent for approval prior to the issuance of the permits. Um, a sewer permit is required. A complete application associated fee shall be submitted to the district at the time the permit is executed. Uh, prior to the permit being executed, no sewer site work uh, shall be completed. And uh, professionally surveyed electronic georeference CAD drawings, a stamped PDF of the CAD drawing, and a stamped paper copy to be submitted to the district upon completion of the project. Motion to approve, Mr. Chairman, with the caveats attached. Second. Mr. Superintendent. I have a motion and a second by Charlie. Charlie, do you have questions? Um, I do. Um, I'm just a little confused by the plans that show the garage storage office areas. It looks like more of an incubator business type of activity. Is this all one, is this whole facility going to be used by the applicant for their landscaping no, they'll business? No, uh, they'll be renting out those other spaces. Um, so they'll be, Go, Go Green Landscaping will be utilizing the majority of the space. And then um, uh, they will be renting out the other uh, garages with the, the offices that are part of those. I think there's three more of them. I don't remember. So um, I guess my my question or my concern would be, are we going to then be able to review and approve the tenants that might occupy those additional spaces to be able to see whether there's any unique wastewater characteristics that they might be generating? And are there any, are there any floor drains in those garage storage areas that need any special treatment? There are no floor drains in the, in the garage storage areas. Um, the we we do review and approve any build out of any space, even in uh, existing uh, s uh, similar type spaces. Um, 
for example, um, Dolphin market, Marketplace. Uh, I, I work very closely with regards to um, the uh, code enforcement to make sure that the, the proposed business of any existing space, a new space, uh, meets the, the criteria of the approval. So it would be just sanitary waste. Correct. Um, so I guess I would like to offer an amendment that would just advise the owner um, of the proviso that, that, that the district under disapproval reserves a right to approve and require any um, additional measures that we would deem necessary to accommodate any future tenants that they might have in the building. And offer that as an amendment to the motion. I'll amendment. Yeah, I'll amend. <laughs> I'll fix that amendment. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Any other questions, comments? Yes, Rob. Uh, I sent David an email earlier on this project because uh, um, I wasn't originally going to be here. I was just, when I looked at the plan, I was a little concerned that they're proposing to pump waste water into our system, and it didn't appear to me that we really had a, a way to monitor or review what's coming into our waste stream. And my comment was maybe we should have them put a manhole at the property line that could be used for testing. Um, and I, I didn't take note that there were several different spaces in here. That raises a little bit more concern for me because, you know, we have one person who's supposedly the owner and then several tenants here. And uh, if there is stuff being put in down the pump station, at what point can we test it? Do we have the right to go on the private property? And, you know, how are we going to monitor at the, the pump station uh, versus a manhole? So that was a concern that I had, a suggestion I had. I don't know if it's valid or not. The other one was based upon the nature of the business, whether uh, there was any industrial pretreatment requirement for a project such as this. Um, also, remind me, do we have an application or we are looking? We're, we're working on one. Okay. How do we We have an application for the sewer permit. Okay. How do we know that the owner is going to be aware of the conditions of approval? Once again? Uh, well, first of all, they do get CC'd. The, they are carbon copied uh, of the approval. The owner gets a copy of the approval. Okay. And also in the sewer permit application, it, it lists the type of uh, uh, business, uh, commercial or industrial. It li lists the flow volume. Uh, it also identifies the flow as whether it's sanitary um, or uh, flow or a um, uh, process wastewater or any, uh, anything along that line. And it actually lists whether it's gravity sewer service or a pump sewer service. That comes out of what we approved tonight, or that comes out of the later that, review? That, pardon? That comes out of the later submission they make? That is in our sewer permit application. Once the project is approved, they they uh, they fill out that permit application for the sewer permit. Okay. And we are now requiring the owners to sign that. The uh, owner signs that document. Correct. So it's just down to my one concern about, you know, how do we monitor what's going into our our wastes. So I'll just leave that out there for anybody else to comment on. Yes, Ben. Wouldn't you be able to get a sample at the pump station or Senate? Yeah, okay. Yeah. We have all we have rights to get onto the, the yeah. site and sample. So we wouldn't need an extra manual? No. no. Additional questions? So we have an amendment and a second. All in all in favor of approval as amended? No. 
in favor of the original approval? Original motion. Original motion, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> None opposed. All right. Next is the six-month budget summary ending June 30th, 2015. Move approval, Mr. Chairman. Seconded. Any questions? I have a question. Who is the second? Is that you, Dave? Dave was second. Dave was second. Yeah. Just a quick one. How are we doing on revenue as a percentage of what we had budgeted? Good. Very good. Very well. Start my English. Pretty close to 100% or over 100%? Okay, good. Other questions? All in favor of approval of the six month budget summary? Not opposed. Next is public comments. We have no public with us this evening. Uh, trustee comments. I'll start down on my right with Charlie. Uh, I guess I'd just like to uh, compliment uh, the superintendent and our staff on the successful DEP inspection. Um, and uh, kind of echo the DEP comment regarding the cleanliness and maintenance of the facilities there. I think historically that's been a trait that we've heard repeatedly, and I think it's the mark of a really well run operation to get that type of comment uh, from them. So congratulations to superintendent and to our staff for continuing to do a great job. Well, uh, echo my colleagues' comments uh, relative to uh, the great job that staff does. And uh, I was impressed the first time I went down to the, to the uh, um, treatment plant as I have been in some pretty nasty ones, but uh, we do do a great job, and that's a testament to our staff and whatnot. And there's not much other to say than I'm going to wish myself a happy birthday for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> that in a minute. Happy birthday. Dave. I did other comments, but, you know, you don't look a day over 90. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, want to, I want to thank the staff. Uh, I've always thought that the district was the best in the state, and my feelings probably the best in the Northeast. <coughs> and it keeps showing itself that way mm -hmm. uh, with how they proved themselves and, and with uh, Matt and Judy, uh, how that came through and what happened. Uh, congratulations and thank you. Uh, happy birthday, Rob. Thank you for letting us know. You know, I'll, I'll sort of echo those comments. My daughter spends a lot of time with us at the beach, and, uh, you know, you have two very big public facilities very close to proximity treatment plant, and I've never heard anyone remark of odor complaints or any issues, which is very atypical for treatment plants. So we've got a large population of people that enjoy the air and very difficult to operate a plant with that proximity to public recreation facilities. People that don't know are always surprised where we are located. That's right, and that's a good thing. Next up, Ben. So I, I want to wish Rob a happy birthday. So. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, one time I used to go to a lot of treatment plants, and I did see a lot of uh, very, very poor run treatment plants. But I think yeah, this is the best one I've ever seen of all the ones I've been to. Thank you. And, uh, you guys do a great job. And for all the staff. Yeah, I'll echo the same comments. Uh, congratulations to the staff. I know expectations are very high down there, and everybody does, does a fantastic job at keeping a uh, neat and tidy plant. It's great to hear comments like that. And with that, I will entertain a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. All in favor? We're adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>